Hi everyone, welcome back to 365 Ninja. Today I want to teach you a little bit about message archiving and retention policies in Office 365. These policies can apply whether or not you're using Outlook on the web or Outlook 2013. We're going to cover both, but we're starting here in Outlook on the web and I'll show you how to apply a policy to an individual folder and then we'll look at creating new policies and then switch over to Outlook 2013. So starting here in Outlook on the web, let's say that I want to delete or expire is somehow sometimes how I think of it, all of my messages in a certain folder after a certain amount of time. That's really easy to do. All you have to do is right click on the folder, go to assign policy, and you can see that I've already given my folder a different policy than its parent folder. So by default, every folder will inherit the policies of its parent folder, so my inbox policies overall. And I can select something individual for this folder. Now, you might see some different things here depending on your Office 365 tenant and what your admin has set up, but there are some sort of stock policies that come with Office 365 that you can apply to individual folders. So for something like newsletters where I can go back and look through the tips and tricks periodically, I might not want to delete them for five years, but maybe you have something like social media notifications that you want to delete after one week and you have sorted those automatically into a folder, apply that one week delete policy to that folder. So once you select the policy that you want, it'll apply automatically when you click it and you won't see a flag or anything like that. So be sure to plan out the policies and do it deliberately because it's you have no visual reminder of what you've done. Now, if you want to look at the policies you have available or manage the list overall, from Outlook on the web, you'll go to your settings gear, click options. Now from here, you'll go to retention policies. And you can see the same list that I was viewing when I was applying policies to my folders in Outlook. So all of my policies here were assigned by an administrator, so I can't do any sort of modification or adding of policies. If I click the plus sign here, I don't actually have any actions that I can take. But if you're an admin, you have the ability to go out into the admin center and create some new policies, but we won't cover that in this video, but stay tuned for upcoming videos on that. So if you do want any details about the policies, you wanna know exactly what happens, how long something is retained and when it will be deleted, you can check out the information here. So now let's switch over to Outlook 2013. Once you have a folder selected like I do here, you're going to want to look for this Assign Policy button in the ribbon. When you click the button, you can see the same list of retention policies that I saw on the web. So it's important to note here that when you have a message selected, you're going to be assigning retention policies to that message. If you want to assign a retention policy across the entire folder, click Set Folder Policy. Now you can use a parent folder or, again, you can select one of these from the list. I select that, click OK, and that retention policy will now be applied to that folder. But again, you don't have a flag or anything like that alerting you to the fact that you have that retention policy going on. So just make sure to do this deliberately and carefully when you're assigning retention policies. So we're going to stop here. Retention policies, that's an area where we could get into a lot of detail and there's a lot of things that admins can do. But to keep it simple, I would just recommend that if you're somebody who likes to kind of sort and filter your email into different folders, give some thought to these retention and archiving policies because it can really help keep your mailbox clean and not too big so it keeps fast and organized, uh, making you more productive throughout the day. So hope this tip helped. For more tips and tricks like this one in Office 365, please check back with 365ninja.com. Thanks.